In the next video, we will show another type of alternative fuel vehicle that is used to help fight energy and environmental problems. Let's take a look. Here's a question from an elementary science class. Which chemical substance is most abundant on the Earth? The answer is... But mass destruction is not the only purpose for hydrogen. Both American and foreign automakers are now spending millions of dollars developing vehicles which either run on liquid hydrogen or use hydrogen to create electricity in fuel cells. Car companies often ask citizens to test drive hydrogen vehicles so they can hear first-hand opinions about consumers' experiences with these cars. This little bug-like car is powered by a Chrysler hydrogen fuel cell. It's used every day by the Wayne State University Public Safety Department. So, Sergeant Barron, what do you think of this car? It's a very enjoyable vehicle to drive. It is extremely quiet, but it is extremely comfortable and a very smooth ride. When you come upon pedestrians, you have to be extra observant because the pedestrians will not hear it. We have to be aware of them. When you look under the hood of it, it looks just like any other vehicle. It's pretty much transparent to the customer, which is important. You want to build new technology so that nobody can really tell the difference between this or a normal vehicle, but this is far from a normal vehicle. So how does it run? Well, you may have heard about electrolysis, passing electricity through water to produce hydrogen and oxygen. The fuel cells device is the backward version of electrolysis. It combines hydrogen and oxygen, and the chemical reaction generates electricity that runs the car. And there's one more substance this device produces, water vapour. Here's the tailpipe coming out. But instead of emissions, you have nothing but pure water. The public perception about hydrogen is that it's extremely dangerous. However, as you can see, it's the paint on the outside of the Hindenburg which caught fire. The hydrogen did not explode. The fuel tanks in these vehicles are solidly made of aluminum, carbon and other compound materials to withstand its internal high pressure. Underneath the floor here is where the compressed hydrogen is stored. And there's two tanks holding 1.8 kilograms of hydrogen. Now a lot of people are always asking, well, it's hydrogen, isn't it explosive, isn't it flammable? But if you told people that they'd be driving around in their cars 100 years ago with a, a gas tank that holds 40 gallons of flammable liquid, they'd tell you the same thing. However, it will be a long time before you see hydrogen vehicles at car dealers in your town. It's likely you'll see more of them on the roads between 2012 and 2015, but a lot of things have to happen between now and then, like an infrastructure for hydrogen, uh, like people accepting the technology, like the cost to go down and making the system itself. Since hydrogen vehicles emit only water vapour, it's definitely effective to reduce carbon footprints. But the essential reason why we need to use hydrogen fuel instead of gasoline is... Oil is a natural resource, and like other natural resources, it eventually run out. Oil will eventually run out, which is a very strong statement. 